from the corner of Maine to the alley on Union. That's where you would find the spot. Vi's Chicken and Steaks was pretty, pretty hot. Let me tell you, my grandma owned that joint, yeah, and ran it first class, too. T-bones, porterhouse, filet mignons, and half a chicken was the meat on the menu. Biscuits that were homemade, baked fresh every day, melt in your mouth and sold out quick, because grandma didn't play, that's right. She served it with mushrooms, onions, peas, salad, and fries. And that was the complete menu when you came to Vise. The hours were 5 at night to 5 a.m., but at the midnight, it was always strong. There was no liquor license, so folks bought their own along. My grandma supplied the ice in the mix and would always take a minute and sit to have her a drink or two. <laughs> the cops would come in after they beat. The cabbies would come in off the street. And the entertainers back then when they came to town would walk through her doors because grandma didn't mess around. Ella Fitzgerald, Billy Holiday, Lena Horne, Duke Ellington, Lou Rawls, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Vines Chicken and Steaks was a hot, hot, hot part of that night scene. You hear me? And there was a time when Jimi Hendrix's grandmother worked with mine. Now I remember Rosie, the dishwasher, and my mom and Leah with waitress. Everybody was friends. My grandma hired only women, even way back then. And the laughter, the laughter would be jumping, jumping, jumping all night long up out of that place. First class dining, first class dining advice, chicken and steaks. Yeah. <laughs>